Next thing we're going to check is if you've got power going into your burner, but you're still not getting it to fire, we're going to show you how to check the burner coupler that runs between the blower motor and the fuel pump to drive the fuel into the burner. So the first thing we want to do is take out the two bolts that uh, hold the burner blower into position. This is one of the easiest ways to get to the coupler. So once you take those loose, pull them off, you're going to be able to just grab the blower and slowly pull it out and pivot it to the side, which will give you access to the drive coupler. So you're going to want to visually inspect the drive coupler, make sure that the two ends are in good shape. If you've had an issue with the burner that the uh, you were getting a little back burn uh, and a little fire in the burner, the uh, coupler can melt. This is just a, uh, a plastic coupler. So it could melt or the ends uh, get distorted to where they're, they're not driving it properly. Uh, also, one thing you can check too is your blower motor. Make sure that it spins freely and that uh, there's no issues with that. If, you, uh, if you've got a bad blower motor, that will not let it drive the fuel pump also. So after we check to make sure it's in good shape, then you'll go ahead and install the uh, coupler back into the, the uh, housing there, putting the orange end to the fuel pump. And you'll notice that on these, they are keyed, so they'll only go in one way. And that is also something you want to check just to make sure that that's not rounded out uh, and it's driving the, uh, the fuel pump properly. So you just reinstall it with, again, the orange end going to the fuel pump and making sure that it slides onto the shaft properly. And then you'll have to align the shaft on your blower motor. And it will probably take a little finessing to get it to slide in. Probably got it on the first shot there. So now you just uh, reinstall your bolts, tighten it all up, and you're good to go. This is also something that should be checked every year when you do basic burner maintenance uh, before you start up for the year. Again, every, uh, every 500 hours or once a year. Uh, you can also look down through the top of your burner there and through the blower squirrel cage there and inspect it that way also.